Sometimes on the internet, things are not what they seem because it's in the interest of everyone from YouTube commentary channels to journalists and everyone that wants to click to try and beef up the drama just a little bit. And then there's whatever Ubisoft's doing lately. I mean, I've been covering this story over like four or five videos now, and every video I kind of hesitate and I caution people and I say, I mean, we can't really be watching the live meltdown of a multi-billion dollar gaming giant in real time. There's got to be some rationale, some calm behind the scenes that makes sense of what we're watching. And I think as of the 25th and the announcements we've seen since then, I think Ubisoft might be completely melting down and about to go bankrupt. As I've talked about in previous videos, Ubisoft have been taking some financial hits recently. Their stock price has been going down really since 2018, but they've been promising investors over that time, don't worry, the next big Assassin's Creed game, it's going to be a hit, blah, 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 blah. Finally, after years and years of just hitting their sales targets and blowing copious amounts of money on the latest big game, Ubisoft were promising their investors, no, 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 don't worry, Outlaws, the Star Wars game, and Assassin's Creed Shadows, the Assassin's Creed game finally said in Japan, they're going to be such record-breaking games that we're going to recoup all of those millions of dollars we've spent on them and the millions of dollars we've lost over the past five or so years, and everything is going to be peachy keen. But it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, that in 2024, the internet, especially for gamers, can pretty well reflect the, the mood of the culture at large, if you know what I mean. Because Ubisoft's latest press releases sound kind of like what my brain sounds like when I'm having a panic attack and making excuses to my supervisor. So on the 25th of September, Ubisoft made two big announcements, one about Assassin's Creed and one about Star Wars Outlaws. And I'll go over both of these announcements shortly because they're both slightly different, obviously. But one of the things that just effuses from both of the announcements is a plea to gamers to stop hating them and go back to buying their stuff. It's like after all the years of bloated games with microtransactions and a crappy Ubisoft launch, they finally realize they've developed a history of bad will. So the Star Wars Outlaws Twitter account came out with what is basically an apology for the game saying, Dear Outlaws, we've been roaming the Outer Rim for almost a month now, and we want to thank you again for your support. Your feedback is invaluable in helping us prioritize the improvements and changes we will make to the game. We're working hard at creating multiple title updates, which will be optimization, gameplay polishing and tweaks, as well as quality of life changes, including adjustments to combat and stealth gameplay, because we realized the stealth gameplay in Star Wars Outlaws was pretty much non-existent. And promise us when it launches on the Steam store on the 21st of November, the game's going to be completely nothing like the bad stuff you've heard on the internet. So please buy it. Please buy it. Please buy it when it comes to Steam. <laughs> this is crazy. Now, this is clearly about a little bit more than just uh, Outlaws and, and the problems that is a game. Because on the same day, at the same time, we also got this announcement from the Assassin's Creed Shadows Twitter. Dear players, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a dream project for us. Finally bringing the series to feudal Japan, with many features developed with our community in mind, such as parkour or the renewed stealth brought by new technology, all set in a beautiful and immersive world. This is an ambitious addition to the franchise, a rich experience that can be lived through the eyes of two unique protagonists, but we realize we need more time to polish and refine the experience, pushing further some of our key features. Basically, they're delaying um, Assassin's Creed Shadows until February 14th, 2025, because they were are, are clearly aware now that if if this game, I said it in a recent video, if Assassin's Creed Shadows does flop there in some some dire straits and clearly from their own internal testing, they think that's possible. And they definitely should because people haven't liked their games in a while. But OK, how is this being received First by people on the internet and secondly by their shareholders because they've been having some issues with the shareholders. If you want to know more about that, uh, check out my channel. I've got about three other videos on the whole shareholder debacle at Ubisoft. Well, over on the uh, Star Wars Outlaws Twitter, some people are just loving this, such as very AFK over here who says the game is effing good. Nice to see a passion team dedicated to improving it further, who, of course, is working over at Bioware on uh, on a. Uh, Dragon Age Veilguard. <laughs> but uh, most of the other comments are just from people like the YouTuber Hypnonaut, 
Two announcements from Ubisoft about two of their failed games right before the earnings call? Not surprised. Whereas over on the Assassin's Creed Twitter, it's 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 the usual stuff you would expect. It's people saying vaguely racist things, people being critical of Ubisoft, people accusing everyone that doesn't like the game of racism. You know the standard standard sort of internet internet stuff. But perhaps more importantly, it's the sort of standard internet stuff you don't want to see about the delayed release of what is supposed to be a hype title. What you would hope to see under that is nothing but comments saying, Phew, I'm glad you aren't rushing the release. And you've got like one or two of those, but the majority, it's, it's clear that the whole Assassin's Creed Shadows drama has taken on a broad political context that cannot possibly help the game and is completely distracting from the actual game itself and Ubisoft's attempt to sell it and thus players attempts to enjoy it. It's 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 a it's turned into a disaster for them of unmitigated proportions, regardless of how you view the politics of the situation. But don't worry, I'm sure the cool heads over at the financial markets have looked at this and are calmed by Ubisoft clearly realizing they've made some mistakes and that they're going to try to rectify the sales of Star Wars Outlaws with its Steam launch and Assassin's Creed Shadows being postponed to probably get a higher rating by being a more polished game. And also, this is an important thing, also so that sales of it do not clash with the Steam release of Outlaws, because if you are the sort of person that would still buy an Ubisoft game in 2024, you don't want to get two games released on Steam at the same time. And as it were, if Assassin's Creed Shadows wasn't delayed right now, the two of them would come to Steam almost on the same date, which is, you know, people aren't going to spend money to buy both at the same time. And to no one's, no one's surprise, the shareholders didn't like this either. Uh, the stock price dropped from 11.40 euros all the way down to 9.10. I think it's lowest of all time a day and a half after these two announcements were made. And with this financial quarter coming to a close, I think this decision was made entirely so that Ubisoft can go to their investors and say, uh, yeah, but uh, it's, things are not looking good, but don't worry, they will by next year. Uh, don't worry, the sales for Star Wars Outlaws are gonna go up in, in November. And don't worry, uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows, now it's not gonna clash. So it's, it's basically like we're, we're re-releasing Star Wars Outlaws to a bigger audience like we should have done in the first place. And their investors are not stupid. They're not buying it. It's not gonna work. Yeah. They've, 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 they've done it. They've speed run the company to bankruptcy. They actually did it in spite, despite me insisting that, Hey, it's, it, it can't be that bad. It's bad, bad, but it's not that bad. I, th I think it's that bad. I think it's that bad. I think they've got about a year for this to turn around. And if Assassin's Creed Shadows doesn't sell well, it's probably going to be the end. I don't think they will be able to fundraise without some core changes to the company, enough money to fund another you know, 250, 400 million dollar triple A game. And I think I think we're really living in a, in a new era where just the vibe on the Internet about something can kill a company no matter how large the company is. And Assassin's Creed Shadows just it, it, it was a horrible, horrible decision from Ubisoft because it got them embroiled in the middle of much, much wider cultural issues that if you want to sell computer games to everyone, because remember, these are hugely expensive games. You're targeting a vast segment of the market. You're targeting serious gamers. You're targeting casual gamers. You're targeting Republicans. You're targeting Democrats. You really need everybody under the sun that's into gaming to buy these games in order for it to make financial sense for you. And uh, they've, they've stumbled down in so many rabbit holes, all of which have been negative, and I can't see Assassin's Creed Shadow selling well at this point, and I don't know what the company can possibly do without that. And now everyone is just standing around watching the building go up in flames and, you know, eating popcorn. And that that's really a situation we're in. Uh, this is just this is one of those for the for the record books. This this is gonna go on the speedrun.com. It's the sort of thing we get covered in a Carl Jobs video. You know, in the end, hopefully they get picked up by someone larger and all these IPs get a, a good a good new start under some new structure because clearly things aren't working over there. Oh uh, well, I think that's it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. I cover gaming news, drama, and commentary, and all those things. I'm a small channel, and I do enjoy the dopamine hit of a like. And to subscribe because, you know, it's all good, it's all fun, until someone burns a billion dollar company to the ground. 
I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Till then, peace.